described as hacked, Facebook Home faces privacy concerns, and the IRS is watching your tweets. All that and more this time on ThreatWire. Hello and welcome to this episode of ThreatWire. My name is Shannon Morse and my co-host is out this week, unfortunately. So we are joined by Mr. Greg the Dinosaur. Greg, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Shannon. Thank you. And this is your summary of everything that's threatening security, privacy, and internet freedom. Let's get right into it with Scribed. Scribed is a website that features published articles, journals, and documents, and it was recently hacked. According to the website's official announcement, less than 1% of email addresses and passwords may have been compromised. The compromised passwords were salted and hashed on Scribe's network, which basically means their encryption would make it incredibly hard for a threat to decode. Now, Scribe did mention that they aren't the only business to be recently breached, and they are cooperating with authorities on the investigation. Scribe also sent an email to all of the users whose accounts may have been compromised, but if you are unsure of yours, you can always enter your email address to verify if your data was stolen right there on their website. Now on to Facebook. Facebook was met with much concern over their new home screen for Android devices. Facebook Home will work as an app launcher, putting their social network central on your Android phone, essentially making the phone a Facebook phone. Home will come pre-installed on several Android phones, with the HTC First being the, well, the first phone with Home on it. You'll also be able to check it out through the Google Play Store. You'll be able to uninstall it or customize the settings so that it doesn't appear on your lock screen as well. Now on Facebook's news blog, the company addresses the fact that any apps in the Home app launcher have data collected for up to 90 days, such as which app is generating which notification, etc. Location data can also be turned off just like any other application on an Android phone, but if you're really concerned about Facebook's user data policy, they say you can always check it out on their website or just delete your account. Now, Facebook has also announced a new paid messages service, enabling anyone with any Facebook account to send a message to anyone else on Facebook for as little as one dollar. This will let any stranger send you a inbox message without it being redirected to your spam box. It's currently being tested to make sure the service isn't abused. Can you tell how excited I am to get a spam message on my Facebook inbox? I'm really, really excited. Now, in other Facebook news, be careful of what you post this tax season. Taxes are due, yes they are, like tomorrow. And the IRS may be looking into Facebook and Twitter posts for any significant fraud. Now, a post on RT.com suggests that the IRS will be conducting research into a person's social networking only if their taxes raise any sort of red flags. At this time, there is no data suggesting that they will use any sort of workaround to see your private information that wouldn't be available publicly. But do yourself a favor and not bring any attention to yourself on your social networks, especially if you've had a lot of expense reports this year. Yeah, you might wanna just, you know, take it easy on those expense reports on your Twitters. Now, this week, we'd like to know how you feel about the IRS looking into social networks for tax fraud. We know companies currently look at networks before hiring any kind of new recruits. So is this really so surprising? Have you ever said anything on your Twitter or Facebook about taxes that maybe, maybe you shouldn't have? Now remember, you can always find the ways to subscribe over at threatwire.org and you can get involved in our Google Plus community. That's where all the conversation continues all week. And with that, I'm Shannon Morse, and for Darren Kitchen, we will see you on the internet.